Practice set four asks us to write a ratio for each situation. In number one, for every 10 full-size cars a rental agency rents out, 35 compact cars are rented. What is the ratio of full-size cars rented to compact cars rented? The ratio that they're asking us is full-size to compact cars. So we'll make note of that, full-sized to compact, and then we'll chase down the information from the problem. It starts out with the number of full-size cars. We'll replace that with a 10. And then it tells us further on that there are 35 compact cars. So our ratio of full-size to compact is 10 to 35. Always want to look to see if you can reduce that. Since each of these terms has a factor of 5, this will reduce to a 2 sevenths when we divide each of the terms by 5. In problem number 6, it states that Tim planted 45 evergreen trees on his property. Five years later, he noted that 28 were still alive. What is the ratio of living evergreens to dead? So we're looking at a ratio of living to dead for these plants. Make note of that in terms of the specifics of the problem. Then, going back to find those values, the first sentence tells us the total number that were planted. Well, that's not part of the ratio of interest here, but it tells us five years later he noted that there were 28 still alive. That allows us to put a 28 in place of living. To come up with the dead, the plants are either alive or dead. We're going to go with the total number of plants minus the living leaves us with the number of dead. So we have to do a, a calculation here. There were 45 total plants set out Five years later, there are only 28 living, which means there were 17 that died during that period of time. That allows us to fill in the second value in our ratio. Nothing is common between the two, so our final answer is 28 17 Problem number eight states, in a computer store, there are 48 Intel Pentium chip computers and eight AMD chip computers for sale. What is the ratio of AMD chip computers to Intel Pentium computers at the store? They're asking us for the ratio of AMD to Intel. We'll make note of that. Then the process follows the same. I'm looking for the total number of AMD and it tells us first of all that there were 48 Intel. We have to make sure that we pay attention to the order of the ratio and even though Intel information is listed first, that value will go in the denominator. And then the sentence continues and said that there are eight AMD chips. That'll go in the numerator because of the fact we want an AMD to Intel ratio. Can we reduce? There's a common factor of eight, so yes. The result is one-sixth is our ratio for this problem.